Hello, I'm Dan Lyons from Toward Independence. And I'm Annie Shaver with Partners for Community Living. Welcome to Art and Soul 2020. Here we are. Art and Soul is an annual art gallery and award ceremony that celebrates artists with developmental disabilities from all across the state. There are 45 pieces in each show each year, and we made these videos because we're not able to meet in person this year, so here's some of our pieces. This piece is called Nightfall by Roy Collinsworth. This is acrylic on canvas, and this one just blows me away. I think the color is amazing. The, the composition of it is, is awesome. It shows a, a barn at, at night. It's kind of moonlit. Uh, and there's also this little cabin here in the, in the corner. This one reminds me of a warm summer night. This next piece is called Primary, and it is by artist Carrie Witham. I really love uh, what Carrie did here. She used tissue paper and cut out these circles, it appears, and laid them over one another, uh, showing the three primary colors, and then where they overlap, you've got a little bit of green and orange and purple, um, and in the middle, everything comes together. I think it's a really great piece. Um, reminds me of learning my colors growing up. This piece is called God is Good. It's by Dorothy Taylor. This is acrylic on glass. So Dorothy actually took a piece of glass and painted this on top of it. And at a distance, it might look like an abstract painting of some kind, but if you actually get up close and take the time to look at it, it actually has letters that spell out Jesus, God, and love. So it's kind of like a painting within a painting, which I find really interesting. This piece is called Golden, it's by Chardé McKinney. Uh, it's acrylic on canvas. I love this piece, it's really awesome. I think the frame brings out a lot of the cool pieces of it, but the piece itself has this amazing background. It looks like, uh, it looks like Chardé, I don't know, did some kind of marbling uh, type technique because it's it's got a very kind of funky background. Her shirt is actually fabric, which I think is really cool. It's a, it's a cool touch, it actually gives this piece a lot of texture. I think this would be an awesome piece for somebody's home. This is Roy Collinsworth's piece, Show Me. It's acrylic on canvas. Uh, I think something that carries through across all of Roy's pieces, he has two in the show this year, are his command of light and color. He has these street lights going down this, this road and there's this really rich yellow and red color coming off of them, which contrasts the, the blue and the greens um, of, the, of the forest around uh, the street. Also, I think a really cool thing is you can see the reflection of the, of the water, so it kind of feels like it's just rained. There's a lot of like sensory elements to this piece that I really, really like. This piece is called Full of Hearts by artist Brett Garrett. I really love the transition of color from the bottom to the top and that there's hearts everywhere. I think it's a really warm and welcoming rainbow color of, of all of these hearts and I think that frame really brings out some of the, the darker colors in it really nicely. This is Party People Platter by Steve Gall. 
It's one of our ceramic pieces this year. Mm -hmm. This has some drainage holes in it so that you can actually put a flower in it. Uh, it's also, it has this beautiful artwork on the outside that shows a bunch of people just kind of having a good time. This is actually one of the reasons that our judges chose this piece. Uh, one of the comments was that it reminded them of childhood memories fading away. So it, it's a functional piece and it also looks great. This piece is called For the Birds, and it's by artist Daniel Heath. It is a ceramic piece, a birdhouse. He's even got a string here where you could hang it up. I love that he's got a little perch here for the birds, and this blue, and then on the top is this brown stain. They're really beautiful, different um, shades of blue all the way around. You make a great home for somebody's friends in their backyard. This piece is called Mandala Bowl, and it's by artist Josephine Shell, and it's fused glass. Um, it's a beautiful representation of, some, looks like a floral piece. It would go like this, you can prop it up. You can see all the different greens that she used, um, and then some gray to bring out some of those colors a bit more. Looks great. This is Family of Birds by Brett Garrett. It's a fused glass piece that shows a bunch of birds hanging out in the trees of the forest. Uh, this piece is really cool because it's transparent. So if you put it in a window, you actually get a reflection of all these cool colors across your whole room and your table. We've had some people here at the Torrey Independence office who really, really like uh, work like this. And I've actually gone home with a couple of these pieces. Uh, so this one's, this one's pretty big, it would look really great in a window. This piece is called The Roaring Twenties, and it's by artist Jonathan Mullins Kimbler. It's reminiscent to me of the famous artist Toulouse Lautrec. Um, you have this gorgeous woman um, looking out of the painting. I think the frame really highlights um, the red that's here in the background of her. And it is 2020, so we could call ourselves in the Roaring Twenties um, once again. <laughs> 